Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with radical expressions. We're given x minus square root of x equals 7, and we're going to evaluate x minus 7 divided by square root of x. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. So for my first method, I'm going to be using substitution, and I'll be dealing with this equation. So let's rewrite it, x minus square root of x is equal to 7. Now to solve this equation for x, I'm going to use square root of x. I'm going to set it equal to y. This is going to be the substitution I use. And that implies x equals y squared. One thing to keep in mind here is x must be positive and y must be positive. They can't be 0 because obviously 0 is not a solution, right? So let's go ahead and replace x with y squared and square root of x with y. That gives us a quadratic equation, which is very easy to solve because there is a quadratic formula. This is not factorable into integers, so we're going to write uh, the quadratic formula, negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, plus negative uh, minus 4ac, which is plus 28. That's going to be 29. So y is going to be 1 plus minus the square root of 29, divided by 2. Now remember what we said about the values of y and x. We said that x and y both have to be positive. If you'll break this down, y is going to be either 1 plus root 29 over 2 or 1 minus root 29 over 2. Square root of 29 is greater than 5, therefore it's greater than 1. So this is going to be a negative quantity and we don't want that. So we're going to go ahead and throw it away and go with the first one because that is a positive value, right? So we got the y value, but we do need the x value. And what's the relationship? Square root of x is equal to y or x is equal to y squared. Since they're both positive, we can use either one. So x equals y squared is easier to use. Let's go ahead and use it. I know what y is, so I can just go ahead and replace y with 1 plus root 29 over 2 and square it. When you square a plus b, remember the formula, a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, and then that is divided by 4, and this is going to be 30, so we get 30 plus 2 root 29 divided by 4, but if you divide both the numerator and denominator by 2, you're going to get 15 plus root 29 over 2 for x value. Alright, great, so we got the x value, what are we supposed to evaluate? We're supposed to evaluate x minus 7 over square root of x. So I do need to find the value of x minus square, uh, 7 divided by square root of x. What is the square root of x? Do I know that? Yes. I do know square root of x because that's equal to y. So square root of x is 1 plus root 9, 29 over 2. And this is the value of x and this is the square root of x. And I can just go ahead and plug those in here. Easy, right? So x is equal to 15 plus root 29 over 2 minus 7 divided by square root of x, which is 1 plus root 29 over 2. So I got to simplify this expression. Does that look complicated? A little bit, but don't worry about it. We're going to simplify it, and we're going to get a really nice answer from here. And that's going, that's going to be our answer. But first of all, let's flip and multiply. So we're going to multiply 7 by 2. That's going to give us the following. 15 plus root 29 over 2 minus 14 divided by 1 plus root 29. Awesome. So this is what we're trying to find. What can we do to rationalize the denominator? Multiply by 1 plus root 29. I mean minus, not plus of course. It should be the conjugate. And 1 minus root 29. Because these two are conjugates and their product can be found by using difference of two squares. Make sense? Hopefully. 15 plus root 29 over 2 minus 14 times 1 minus root 29 divided by, okay, what is the product of these two things? a plus b times a minus b, what a b value, a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared, so this becomes 1 minus 29, which is negative 28, by the way, right? So, but that's a negative at the bottom, which doesn't look good, and there's a minus sign, so why don't we just negate both? And that's going to give us the following. 15 plus root 29 over 2 plus 14 times 1 minus root 29. And all of that is divided by 28. 
obviously at this point we are supposed to make a common denominator so let's go ahead and multiply the first one by 14 right 14 times 14 and times 14 that's going to give us the following let's go ahead and distribute 14 times 15 is what 210 i think plus 14 root 29 and the second part is going to give us plus 14 minus 14 root 29 all of that is divided by 28 14 root 29 cancels out to 210 plus 14 is 224 divided by 28 and we're going to go ahead and simplify it but if you think divide it you're going to get 8 easy right or if you don't see it right away you can just divide by 2 divide by 2 divide by 2 so on and so forth but that's the answer let's go ahead and take a look at the second method what does the second method look like right okay so our second method is going to be slightly different of course very different maybe all right so we're given x minus root x equals 7 and we're supposed to evaluate x minus 7 over root x notice that we have 7 in both places so we could use that since I'm trying to evaluate this, a lot of times we replace uh, variables with numbers, but why not replace a number with a variable expression? So in this case, that is going to be the 7. I can go ahead and replace 7 with this, which is x minus square root of x. Let's do it. x minus x minus square root of x divided by square root of x. And then this can be simplified. I can take out the square root of x in the numerator the top number or the expression I can basically factor out square root of x notice that x can be written as square root of x times square root of x so I, if I take out a square root of x inside the parentheses so I'm basically factoring out square root of x I'm going to be getting square root of x minus 1 right if you distribute you should be getting the same thing that's how you can check if you've done a factoring problem that is all divided by square root of x Obviously, we knew that x does not equal 0, right? Because it does not satisfy the original equation. So x can't be 0. Since x can't be 0, we can basically just cross out the square root of x values, right? They cancel out and leaving us with something much, much simpler. But we have a minus sign in front of the parentheses. So be careful. You have to negate everything inside the parentheses. So you have the following situation. Let me rewrite this so like a cleaner version. This is what we're trying to evaluate. Remember, we started off with this. We we're trying to evaluate this and we replace this 7 with the radical expression. Make sense? Now, if you negate this x minus root x plus 1, but guess what? x minus square root of x is equal to 7. It's given, right? I mean, we know that. Come on. So this is 7. And what is 7 plus 1? Million dollar question, right? 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.